Have you guys seen this? My son up from school witnessed a bullying episode, rang the principal, and I want people to know, parents, educators, teachers, this is the effect that Give bullying me a has. I'm gonna do it this is what bullying does. So can you please educate your children, your families, your friends? Because all it takes is for one more instant and you wonder why kids are killing themselves. So this mom has a son who's nine years old who's struggling because he's being picked on for his dwarfism. He wants to kill himself or he wants to kill others. Look at that. You don't even do anything. Everything's good. He's got murder in his heart, either towards himself or towards others. He wants to kill himself or kill others in retaliation. He feels like a helpless victim. And this mother's at her wits end. She doesn't know what to do. She feels helpless. Now he's saying he wants someone to kill him. He just wants to stop the suffering. I have... The mom thinks that by showing this video that empathy is going to sweep across the world and all of a sudden people are going to be kind to people with dwarfism or, or her son or other people with disabilities. She says she's told so the there principal. So is any advice or support they, or anything that other parents she's asking or, for advice. You know, I'm about to give families advice. have done this is what to I help do. raise okay. disability awareness and education within the school so that this It's not about disability awareness. It's not about I'm showing videos advice, of a child suffering. It's not about memorializing someone who has killed themselves or giving a law a name from a victim of bullying. I know this is bad. Look at this kid. Look at he's in torment right now. I want people to educate their children. The whole anti-bullying isn't working. Okay, she's right. It's not working. Anti-bullying is not working. What does anti-bullying do? Anti-bullying is an attempt to make the world nice, to change the world around kids like Quaden, rather than empowering Quaden to be totally unfazed by the mean words and actions of others. Do you realize the solution here is not to make the world nice, because that's never gonna happen. The solution is to empower Quaden to stop suffering. So when people come over and pat him on the head and call him short, he does have the capacity to brush that off, to not give those words any power. This is what counseling focuses on. It's helping Quaden adjust to the harsh reality rather than attempting to change reality. Do you realize the only message Quaden is hearing right now is that reality around you, the people around you need to change. This has got to stop and it's not stopping. That's why he's feeling despair and that's why kids kill themselves. It's heartbreaking. And it's the constant bullying, the name calling, like obviously pointing out his difference. So now we have a very severely suicidal child who is sick of the bullying that is every single day that he attends school or is in public. It's every single f***ing day and we're sick of it. So I just Okay, I'll tell you why it's every day. It's because every time kids are mean to him, he gets upset. And when he gets upset, there's a payoff. And when there's a payoff, they continue to be mean. That's not just in school. That's gonna be in the neighborhood. It's gonna be in the mall. If you wonder why it's every single day, it's because the more upset you get, the more fun they have, the more fun they have, the meaner they are, the meaner they are, the more upset you get. So therefore, the solution is to stop getting upset. I'm gonna kill you, girl. So the so, next person that does bully or harass or discriminate against him better watch the fuck out, I'm serious. So, so what, the solution is to, to kill the people that are joking? To kill them? Is that the solution? Or to go legal because they're trying to make a joke? This is not the solution. The solution is to build up Quaden's emotional resilience to where he could actually be comfortable in his own skin to be happy with who he is and how he is, to stop living for the approval, to not demand that other people stop making jokes, but to be able to take and make a joke about himself. He can learn to laugh. He can learn to actually be proud of who he is, to understand that there are funny things about him, that it is different. Well, no, ignoring it doesn't solve the problem. How does that address bullying? And ignoring it is not the solution. I'm not suggesting ignoring it. 
exactly what I'm doing now. Every time it happens, I'll be doing a live video so that people know. Mm, poor so thing. hopefully we can make some changes so that this doesn't happen to another family and hopefully we don't lose another young innocent life to bullying. If you want to keep Quaden alive, there's only one solution. I'll tell you what the solution's not. If you tell Quaden that the solution to his problem is that people are gonna start being nice because all the government officials are gonna enforce it, that is no solution for him. You're setting him up for a certain failure. And then he's gonna realize that your promises are broken and it's not sustainable. And therefore you're gonna increase his chance for ending his life. The only solution for Quaden is to learn to be happy with who he is and how he is, to embrace his disability, to embrace his dwarfism, to be able to have a response to those who make a joke about him, to, to help him learn to laugh, to help change his belief system. Don't you realize Mental Health 101? It's not what people say to you that disturbs you emotionally. It's what you think about what they say. And right now, Quaden and his mom and his sister believe that there is no right that people are mean. They have no right to be rude. They have no right to be jerks. They have no right to point out the disability. And because they have rigid, demanding beliefs, they have disturbances. We need to change those beliefs, change them to say, you know what, people are gonna be rude. People are not gonna understand. They're gonna be ignorant and they're gonna make fun of their son's uh, dwarfism. So what do you do? You don't demand that people don't make fun of it. You embrace it. You wanna make fun of me, that's fine. I, I, I'd like you to not, but if you're going to, I understand. I can make and take a joke about myself. Emotional resilience is the only solution because it's the only empowering solution for this kid. Quaden, or Quaden's mom, if you're listening to me, I personally want to help you, Quaden. I can help you be so emotionally strong, so mentally tough, so secure in who you are and how you are, that you're actually going to hope people make a joke about you. You could actually hope, like a boxer needs a good sparring partner in the ring to get better, I can help you grow so strong in your resilience that you hope there's jerks in your life so you could practice your skills. You're gonna be strong, bro. And someday, someday you're gonna realize just how strong you are and you're gonna not wanna change anything about your life. But it's a mind shift, it's a belief system change. Y'all, let's pray for Quaden. And if anyone can get me in touch with this awesome kid, I wanna do sessions one-on-one, -on -one, we could teach together the world how to raise resilient kids. It's easier than you think.